What's going on with you today, guys? And my dad's been staying home playing Minecraft for the past two weeks. And my dad went to his doctor's and got a doctor's note so he can stay home playing Minecraft. Now his boss was going to fire him, but now he can't. So you know what I did? I called your boss today, Dad. He's going to come over you and fire you. He, you called my boss? Like, he's going to believe you. I have a doctor's note. I'm sick. Remember? That's why I'm staying home playing Minecraft. No, Dad. You're addicted to Minecraft, and you can't stop playing the game. And you need to stop playing this stupid game so I can play it again, because I'm getting tired of it, Dad. I stay home all the time just to play this game, and you won't let me play it. Well, I'm playing it now. Why don't you just go watch Barney? That not that your favorite TV show of all time? It's the last time I remember. Dad, we're not talking about this in this video. You know why? Because you're going to get fired today from your job. And I'm going to love every minute of it. You get me fired, and I'm kicking you out of this house. And you're getting kicked out forever. You know what, Dad? Try to kick me out. I have somebody special coming over here to scare you. <laughs> Who? Barney? Is Barney going to come over here and scare me? I, I'd love to see who you're going to show up here and scare me. I'm not scared of anybody. Yeah, Dad. One day, we were going to the movie theaters, and my dad bumped into somebody. This guy's like 200 pounds. And the guy turned around and said, watch it. And my dad was shaking. So what? He was bigger than me. Well, how can you say you're not scared of people when you are? Shut up, son. If you get me fired, you're you're out of your own. You're, you're gone. Learn how to talk, Dad. Say that again so people can understand what you just said. No, they understand. Maybe if you maybe if you learn how to talk, maybe you'll be able to work. That's what I said. You're gonna be out on your ass, living on the street. If you get me fired, that's fine, Dad. Here comes your boss. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, man. I'll come over here to damn fire your ass, man, for not coming to work. What the hell's going on, man? I'm actually sick, Boomhauer. Like, what are you gonna, what you're gonna fire me because I'm sick? That's messed up. No, man, you're actually not sick. You know what happened, man? I called up your damn doctor's office, man. They told me that you're actually not sick. You're just staying home playing Minecraft. That's what happened, man. How the hell do they know I'm playing Minecraft? I guess your son called him or some crap, man. All I know is you're pretending to stay home playing Minecraft. You're actually not sick, man. You're wasting our damn money, our resources, and I don't damn appreciate that damn crap, man. So what I'm going to be doing right now, man, is I'm going to fam fire your ass right here, man. You're going to fire me? Dude, I'm actually sick, though. I actually have the Pombolumblia Quinidia flu. Man, that shit sound fake, man. Uh, man, don't ever come back to this damn work that you used to work at, man, because you're fired. And uh, I hope you damn appreciate your damn life because you ain't going to have no damn job, man. So, anyway, man, I'm going to leave, man, and I hope you enjoy not having a job, man. I'm gone, man. Thanks, son. Thanks a lot. You see that backpack over there? Go put all your stuff in it and get out. You're going to be living on the streets. You want to know what, Dad? I'm not going to be living on the street, and I'm not listening to you anymore. You're not a good dad, and you're an asshole. You don't want to know what, son? I'm sick and tired of you whining and crying. You know what? You just got me fired from my job that I've had for 15 years, and I don't appreciate that. So you're going to go live on the street, and I'm done with you. So pack all your bags and get out of my house right now because I'm not putting up with you anymore. I'm sick and tired of you. You want to know what, dad? Somebody's coming over very soon, and he's going to put you in your place, and you're going to regret ever saying these things to me he's scary and he's gonna make sure that he scares the shit out of you <laughs> son i'm not scared of anybody stop trying to get me scared it's not gonna work you want to know what here he comes right now welcome back you know i've been dealing with assholes like you my whole life and if you treat your son like this anymore i'll come back here and I will put you in a place that no man wants to go. Who are you? Who said you'd come to my house and just threaten me? I'm not threatening you. These are just promises. You hurt your son, or you could put him on the street. You're done. You're never going to be able to be in your house ever again. <laughs> you know, you haven't been very nice to your son and being that way. Bad things will happen to you. 
This is just a promise, not a threat. If I see your son on the street, I'm going to come back here and you're done. <laughs> I'm gone. Son? You know what, Dad? That guy's not messing around. He'll do something. Really? You better turn this goddamn video off right now. I'm pissed. Jesus. You know what, Dad? Don't ever tell me what to do again. I hired somebody. He's protecting me from you now. You hired someone to protect you? Really? I'm supposed to protect you. Why, by throwing me out on the streets? So I have to find food and be freezing to death every night? You're not a nice parent, Dad. I resent you as a dad. I resent you as a son. You're not a good son. Dad, that guy will come back here. And you'll disappear, I promise. Oh my god. Is he... What is he actually? I'm not telling you. You want to mess around with me? You're going to see what happens. Don't push me. <laughs> oh, I'm mad right now. Oh my god. End this goddamn video right now. You better not tell me what to do. You're fired. And I have somebody watching my back. All right. We're going to end the video now.